Hi, this is Kathy Kandisky with the Columbus Dispatch. And today the Ohio Public Employee Retirement System voted to cut benefits to one million members. That includes future retirees and current retirees. Essentially what the board did, this was by a vote of seven to two, was approve a plan to reduce the cost of living adjustment so that it matched the consumer price index with a cap of 2.25%. This is going to save the, the system about $4, $4 billion, one-time savings, about $4 billion. Um, the proposal, though, first has to be approved by the General Assembly. So this is a re recommendation from the board that now goes to the General Assembly for approval. Uncertain what kind of fate it might meet there, but it certainly has folks that rely on this system. It's about 1 in 12 Ohio workers. Um, worried because this is going to see they're going to see less benefits when they retire or less benefits now when they uh, for those that are already retired under the plan these cuts would start in 2019 for most most employees most retirees and I guess the reason for this is people say the, the fund is in pretty good shape compared to other retirement funds but some people say that it's during these good times that they've got to prepare and be ready for the bad times that are inevitably lie ahead so that's the reason for this. This caused debate amongst the board. The vote was 7 to 2. Those opposed to it said it wasn't immediately necessary, so why are we cutting benefits now when we don't really have to? Those who voted in favor of the plan, though, said that they needed to take the action to ensure that the fund was stable in the years to come and that the fund would be able to pay retirement benefits in, in well into the future. So we'll see at this point that we wait and see what the General Assembly does. They could accept the board's proposal, they could reject the board's proposal, or they could modify the board's proposal in some way. So we'll wait and see what they do.